Welcome to our channel. Today we'll be setting up an external captive portal on a Fortinet firewall. First of all, we'll go to network and we'll select the interface on which we want to enable the captive portal. In the interface settings, we'll scroll down to security mode and we will enable the external authentication portal. Here we will paste the address of the external captive portal. In exempt destinations, we will set up our wall garden and we'll create a new address in which we will specify the address of the external portal and any other addresses that we want to add in the wall garden can be added in the same way as well. In redirect after captive portal, we will enter the URL to which the user will be redirected after authorization. We'll click OK to save the settings. Then we will go to user and authentication and we will add a radius server. We'll enter a name for it and then the IP address and the radius secret will be added here. Then we can go to test user credentials and we can enter the credentials of a user which exists on the radius server. We can see that the connection is successful. So we will add the radius server and then we will go to user groups and we will select the radius server that we just added in remote groups. Then we will again go to the captive portal settings for the LAN interface that we had previously configured. And in user access, we will select the restricted to groups option and we will add the user group that we just created. These are all the settings on the Fortinet site to set up an external captive portal. You can use this bit of code to set up an external captive portal and you can add your custom user authorization flow to it. Once the user is connected, you can go to the dashboard and in firewall user monitor, you can see the list of users which are currently connected. If you want to unauthenticate a user from the network, uh, you can do that from here as well. That's it for now. We hope you found this video useful. Thanks and have a nice day.